Assalamu alaikum and hi. So uh, now we are going to look at example 4 from chapter 4 lecture note. So what we have in this question is three blocks are in contact with each other on a frictionless horizontal surface. So we have a surface which is frictionless which means it is smooth. There is no presence of friction as shown in figure. A horizontal force F is applied to M1. So you are applying a force of F on M1 here. Draw the forces acting on the blocks. Okay, so the question asks to draw free body diagram acting on the block. So what we can do here is, before you start drawing, you identify that there is three, box, three blocks here. Therefore, you have to sketch a free body diagram for three individual blocks. Maksudnya, tiga block, kena ada tiga FBD. Alright, so let's say we look at M1 first. So for M1, this is your M1. And then we look at them separately. M2 and M3 like this. Okay, we are going to look at them separately. And then you are going to draw the free body diagram on them. So what is going to happen here is, first we are going to identify the forces acting on M1 first. Alright, so let us look at M1. So M1 obviously is a block. It's going to have mass. Therefore, it will have weight force. Okay, weight. Alright, since we have three objects here, so you must, I, you must use subscript 1 to distinguish between the objects. Okay, so the W1 here refers to the weight force of object 1. Okay, and then since the object 1 is on the surface, okay, dia berada pada perbukaan, maka we are going to experience a normal force. Okay, normal force which is always perpendicular to the surface. And 1, okay, remember to use the subscript 1 to indicate that this is the force due to the object 1 sahaja. Okay, next kita tengok. In this question here, a force of F is applied on M1 and it is applied to the right. So, kita ada force of F acting on M1 to the right. So, force kita akan ada external force dekat sini. Acting on M1. Alright. So, dia cakap, it's a frictionless horizontal surface. So, there is no presence of friction here. Okay. However, there is one more force acting on M1 which is the contact force between M1 and M2. Kalau kamu perasan, your M1 and M2 are touching each other. Mereka tengah bersentuhan dekat sini. Bila dia sentuh sama macam kamu punya M1 tengah duduk on the surface. Bila dia duduk on the surface, alright, dia akan exit weight ke bawah. And then this surface is going to react by act, by giving a normal force. Begitu juga bila M1 dan M2 ini bersentuhan. Okay. Kamu tolak dengan force F. Alright. This box is going to exert force on M2. Okay. Begitu juga M2 akan react. Alright. So disebabkan oleh ada permukaan M1 dan M2 ini bersentuhan. We are going to have another force. We call it as a normal force juga sebab touching of the surface dekat sini. M2 on M1. M2 yang apply pada M1. So, kita akan ada normal force of object 1 on object 2. Okay. Ini adalah Newton's third law sebenarnya. Action reaction force. Alright. So, when your force is being pushed, your object is being pushed with a force, dia akan tolak objek ini. So, bila dia tolak, dia tengah exert a normal force. So, objek ni akan react balik by exiting another normal force dekat sini. So, let us look at objek kedua pula. Objek kedua dekat sini, obviously going to have a weight. Masih sama, W. Going to subscript 2. And then, you're going to have normal force. N tu kali ni. <coughs> Kalau kamu tengok, this force, external force is not touching your M2. Okay, dia tak sentuh langsung M2. So, bila dia tak sentuh M2, you don't have external force acting on M2. However, disebabkan external force ini... Alright, bila tolak, objek ini akan exit force on M kedua. Okay, therefore, you akan ada that normal force due to the contact of M1 dan M2 and 1 on 2. Okay, kalau kamu tengok this and 1 on 2 adalah daripada objek satu pada objek kedua. Okay, at the same time, objek kedua ni dia tak duduk saja, dia akan react balik. So, bila dia react, this is that reaction force. So, these two forces, they have the same magnitude and 
2 on 1 sama sahaja nilai dengan n 1 on 2. Okay, they are going to push each other with the same amount of magnitude. Kecuali direction mereka tak sama. Satu ke kiri, lagi satu ke kanan. Right, this is Newton's third law. Action reaction force. Alright, so next we're going to look at this contact between the surface M two and M three. So begitu juga sebab mereka punya permukaan tengah bersentuhan, you're going to experience normal force. Sama macam surface ini sentuh objek dua. So sekarang surface daripada objek tiga tengah bersentuhan dengan objek dua. So you're going to have normal force of objek three on two. Ke mana? Ke kiri. Objek tiga tengah apply on objek kedua. So normal force of Object 3 on object 2. Okay and then lastly we're going to look at this third object here. Okay object ketiga kita you will you're going to have weight and then normal force ke atas and then kalau kamu tengok ada connection sorry contact between M2 and M3 so kita akan ada normal force of N2 permukaan 2 pada Permukaan ketiga. Begitu juga force ini dan force ini they are action reaction force they are reacting due to each other so they are going to have the same magnitude but opposite direction.